Huh, what's up, y'all? It is still November 18th, 2019. I'm about to get off of work. Um, I'm just uh, just chilling in my car for the last couple of minutes, and I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. I'm ready to go home, see my wife, eat some food. I'm just ready to take my ass home. But I was watching uh, Sports Talk with Broads. I I'm not subscribed to him, but I watch a couple of his videos from time to time. He's actually pretty good. Uh, the reason why I'm not subscribed to him because I don't follow, I don't really follow like the, the other teams that he covers, but I do follow him when he talks about the Eagles. I do watch his channel. He has some great, he has some good points, interesting points. Um, you know, just listening to him talk and he's talking about don't put all the blame on Wentz. Now, I will agree, you can't put all the blame on Wentz. Uh, a lot of it is he he has probably the worst receiving core in the in the National Football League. Dak had to deal with that last year before we acquired Amari Cooper. But you know what though? Everybody realized that we had the worst receiving core in the league. And you want to know what? Our general manager Jerry Jones was like, "Hey, we need to do something about that. So why don't we just go ahead and spend a first round pick on Amari Cooper? You know, the Raiders don't want him. Uh, the man is still young. He was 24 at the time. The man is still young, still has plenty of football left in him. And he's better than any receiver coming out in next year's, next year's draft. That's just give up a first round pick. The Raiders obliged. We got Amari Cooper and that transformed Dak from that point on. Okay. You know, the Eagles general manager, um, um, Howie Roseman, could have done the same thing this year with the Jets. He could have spent a second round pick on Robbie Anderson. I keep harking back onto this because I'm tired. Okay, Carson Wentz does not deserve all the blame. Of course. Howie Roseman needs to be scrutinized. And Eagle fans, don't do it. The, the Philadelphia media, media and Eagles fans, they don't scrutinize Howie Roseman enough because they let him get away with a lot of shit. They don't scrutinize the draft picks. They don't scrutinize the free agent acquisitions. They don't scrutinize anything. They think Howie Roseman can do no wrong. I hate the Eagles, and everybody knows that. But I thought it was the dumbest decision ever to not give up a second-round pick for Robbie Anderson. You mean to tell me you can't give up a second-round pick for a 26-year-old, 6'3", wide receiver, who can run a 4'3", 40? Who can actually catch the ball? You mean to tell me you couldn't do that? And a lot of people are like, well, we're going we're gonna to try to get him in the offseason. Motherfucker, you're 5-5 five and five right now. And the reason why you lost to the Patriots is because you didn't have any receiver help. Alshon Jeffrey was out. Nelson Aguilar is Nelson Aguilar. Deshaun Jackson is out for the season. Even though you're not going to win the East, my Cowboys are going to win the East. You theoretically have a chance. And you don't give up a second round pick for Robbie Anderson. Everybody's like, it's the receivers, it's the receivers. We know it's the fucking receivers. They trash. That's why I was like, go after Robbie Anderson. Go after Robbie Anderson. But your general manager, Howie Roseman, didn't want to do it. That's on y'all. That is on y'all. Franchises and management can make or break a quarterback. They can. When Dak doesn't have any weapons, Jerry Jones is like, we're going to give you all these weapons. When Carson Wentz doesn't have any weapons, uh, we'll just wait till next year. <sighs> Blame your management. Look at Howie Roseman. Start to scrutinize Howie Roseman because he is detrimental to Carson Wentz's success. He is extremely detrimental. Eagle fans, this is coming from a Cowboy fan. I know y'all hate me. I hate y'all too. But really start to look at Howie Roseman and his decisions. To not go after Robbie Anderson was one of the dumbest mistakes you could have made all year. 
Follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John 1991. That's J A R R O D J O H N 1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.